All right, so I have never been a fan of sword tails in the 15 years of fish keeping, but here at Dan's Fish, I have seen some incredible species that have just changed my mind completely on sword tails, and I'm probably gonna be going home with a few, and I'm gonna have Dan show them to you right now. So we've been working hard here to find really high quality live bears that are healthy. I wanna show you some. Well, Bob asked me to show you some. <laughs> um, here's some, let's start with these. I think this is our most impressive tank just because of the, you know, there's enough in here to really make an impact. These are red-eyed red or albino hyphen blood red cauliflower sword tails. It's so funny, like the live bears, the more descriptors you have in the, in the name, the more expensive they get, I think. Okay, wait, real quick. What's with the vegetables? Because I was just over there and I saw broccoli sword tails. Here we have cauliflower. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Is um, that just random or? It, it is. Some, somebody really some likes people, veggies? <laughs> some breeders call them broccoli, some people call them cauliflower. It's the same thing. Oh, so it's the same? Oh, okay. It's the same thing. Okay. It's, the, it's that highly pleated fin on the dorsal. All right, so, well, here's the, the albino red Brussels sprout <laughs> sword tail. <laughs> Eat your veggies, people. Um, I'm really proud of our sword tails. It's difficult to get them in healthy. I tried years ago. I could not find virus-free sword tails. We worked with a veterinarian in a laboratory to try to get them healthy. Turned out they had an un untreatable virus. So we've, we've worked hard to find a supplier that has virus-free strains. And we've worked with an aquatic veterinarian and a diagnostic laboratory to make sure we know how to get them healthy. Because these are expensive. Um, all of these really fancy sword tails are very pricey. And we don't feel right selling them to our customers knowing that a lot of the strains have viruses. So look at that guy go. Yeah, these are just beautiful. There's, I'm not going to adjust or edit this footage at all. This is really the red. This is how they're gonna look. Yeah, yeah, they're, uh, they're beautiful. So nice, healthy, beautiful ones. And we're able to sell these as pairs. We have plenty of males and females. One tricky thing we're still trying to figure out with the supply chain is they often set a skewed sex ratios. So there's lots of stuff we only have females of, etc. But yeah, these are amazing. We have several more. These ones are the ones we're selling as unsexed. It's the same strain as the others, they're just younger. And we have some early developing males, which obviously we can sex, but we're gonna get late developing males here too. So we're not sure if the quote unquote females we're seeing here are actually females or if they'll turn into those big, beautiful late developing males. There's some secondary sex characteristics you can look for. Just a little bit of thickening on the anal fin. See that on this one? Yep. Um, it's likely that that is going to turn into a male. So that's why we're selling these on sex. We just aren't quite sure yet. Sure. Then down here, more of those, but let's show you a different variety. I. I think of these as the uh, Fantasia fish. They remind me of a creature out of Disney's Fantasia. What they are is albino hyphen pineapple veil tails. So you can see the veils there, the nice full elongated tails. Those are the females. Males don't express that trait. The females do. And they are stunning. Again, healthy. No problems with these, and super pricey, which is why we went through all the work to make sure they'll be healthy. But females are stunning, and look at the males too. Like They don't have the veil tails, but they have a nice high dorsal fin and uh, just really good quality fish. Beautiful. All right, we've got one down here that we're still working on, but I think it's worth showing. All right, so these are a Kohaku hyphen wag sword tail. Um, they're just a neat variety of koi sword that I had never seen before. They bred the wag into it. Now, full disclosure, <clears throat> full disclosure, when these came in, we had epistylus on them. We've treated for that. They're clear now, but we're just gonna wait another couple weeks to make sure that everyone's okay before we sell them. So these are not available now. The other fish I showed you are but such a unique fish. I have never seen a hyphen koi before. Yeah, these are beautiful. 
and, and they pulled through like champs. I, I think they're going to be just fine. Um, yeah, those are amazing. Um, over here, well, we have, yeah, let's go over here. So this is a string of like a hyphen albino pineapple uh, sword tail, but they bred the body to be clear of the stripes. So they're calling these white bodied red finned hyphen albino sword tails. You look at that though, and you know that it's derived from a pineapple string. Oh, look at him go. Yeah. This is good timing. Yeah, you don't need to edit any of this. These guys no. are just. There's fish that sometimes you, you're like, I gotta talk these up, and then there's fish where you're like, I'm just gonna show the fish. I don't think I have to Yeah, the it. only, to be fair though, again, full disclosure, the only editing I'll be doing is turning down the shadows so there's less glare. Oh, yeah. But it won't, it won't affect the color at all. Yeah. We're glary in here. Yeah. It's a working warehouse. <laughs> um, all right. Some more down here. These are the tuxedo version of yeah. hyphen cauliflower sword tails. So, I mean, this is one again. I can let the fish just talk. Yeah, look at the male. Themselves. Yeah, it's just incredible. And females aren't too shabby either. Like, I've never seen any sword tails of this quality before. So, I was, so Bob over the last couple of days has decided sword tails aren't as bad as we thought, right? Yeah. I was the same. I was burned out on live bears. I was sick of getting unhealthy ones. I thought I'd seen them all. And then I found this breeder and this is what they produce. And I'm, I'm like a boy in a candy store. I'm, I'm excited about them again. And I think that's like a gift when you're kind of like, ah, and then suddenly something ignites you again. Now what about the Hamburg? Oh yeah, that's right. I passed right by those. <laughs> My favorite ones of all of them. All right, let me, let me bring a light down because they're a black fish. I want to make sure we can see them. But these are the high fin Hamburg sword tails. And I think I can let the fish speak for themselves. But black body, what might not come through on camera is these, a lot of iridescent, um, yeah, it's coming the, through, yeah, the, the, the blue-green. Yeah, it's like a light blue-green color. And as they swim, it just sparkles, depending on the angle. Oh, they're so beautiful. Yeah, those are just... They laid the hamburg on top of a red, and this is, this is what they came out with. It's incredible. All right, what else do we got? All right, we got more. So these are high-fin, blood-red cauliflower sword tails. See how bright those are? Those are not albinos. You have the black eyes, and on the males, you can see this little black margin on the bottom side of the sword. Oh, yeah. So they're as bright as the albinos. Honestly, I think that's as bright a red as the albinos are. But uh, if you don't like, you know, not everyone likes the albinos. The pink eyes kind of freak some people out. <laughs> yeah. But, so it's just as pretty without the albino. I'm one of those people. I, I prefer this one over the albino. Yeah. Plus, I really like that black stripe. Yeah, it accentuates the tail. Um, then a couple more over this way. It's a big warehouse, folks. <laughs> gotta travel. Okay, I've only got a couple females left, but these are high fin cauliflower <laughs> red wax. And no males, but I mean, those are pretty stunning. Hopefully, they're, they'll drop some fry. Yeah, yeah hopefully. I mean, I'm sure they've been with males at some point. I can't guarantee that though. Blink. Yeah. Then another one down here. We have a few females left of these. These are, <laughs> these are red eye, high fin cauliflower, blood red saber tails. So um, the Good tails Lord. that come off of these don't come to a point. They're a thicker sword. Okay. Um, I'm not why they call them, sure why they call them saber. To me, a saber is just as pointy as a sword. But um, <laughs> you won't see the yeah. females, but the males, it's like a thick sword coming off the bottom. Well, and hopefully some of these are males. They're, they're having babies. Uh, it's a bit of a puzzle. This one is a hyphen. I'm pretty darn sure. This one is not. So some of the babies are coming out high mm. some aren't. And then most of these have black eyes. They did drop a couple batches of albinos as well. So I'm not sure who got with who, but uh, I'm pretty sure these are gonna grow into some fantastic hyphen cauliflower fish. 
probably of that red variety that's not albino. That's yeah. my guess. Well, not all of them will be high thinned, but yeah. awesome. And okay, so when I first got this is the the fish I first got. I got the red eyed red albino blood red cauliflower hyphen sword tail. And when I found out they had the virus, I was like, oh shoot, I can't bring these in anymore. So I tried breeding them because I thought maybe I could separate the babies and create a virus free strain. Dude, those babies were the slowest growing, like weakest fish ever. Wow. Like, they just, from that strain, they didn't do well. So it's really nice to see these guys dropped babies and they're like robust and they're growing quickly and they're doing great. So um, I'm not sure if it's because the virus that other strain had ended up transferring to the babies and weakening them or if it was a genetic thing. But uh, whatever it was, I'm glad we found a new breeder and they're giving us some really nice fish. So there might be one or two strains I'm missing. Let me think. I, I don't think so. I think that's all the kind of fancy domestic strain sword tails we have right now. Oh, no, it's not. There's one more. Yeah, I was going to say, is there one more like pineapple one? Yeah, or? yeah. That's the light. It'll be a lot of that. So these are <laughs> albino hyphen pineapple sword tails. See, that wasn't so bad. Um, and they're just stunning. So these are like the other ones, but if you look at the body, you can still see the red striations of the pineapple. Yeah. To, to varying degrees on them. So that's what they look like uh, when they're not the veil tail. They haven't bred the veil tail into this one. Oh, look at them go. Yeah, I, I love the yellow tails too. And it, what's super nice is they've got the high fins and all that, but they're still a robust seeming fish. Um, in some of the batches, of course, you'll have one or two that are weaker. That's just fish in general. But in the batches are coming in robust, and uh, they seem like they're going to be hardy and do well for people. All right. Do we want to do a little one little bonus and show them your favorite uh, platy? All right, let's give them a platy. Okay. One bonus. Bob has been talking about these <laughs> the whole time he's A been bonus here. platy. Yeah, yeah. These are... Um, some really nice hyphen sunset platies. Um, and I just thought it would be apropos to close the video out with them so Bob can watch them fondly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. As he's thinking about the live birds. But look at that. Yeah, they're so colorful. And I don't think the price point is horrible on these. I think they're 30 a pair. Oh, yeah. When you consider most of those sword tails are 200 bucks a pair, you know, that's, that's not bad at all. Yeah, and they're just so bright. It's ridiculous. Those it's like dorsals are awesome. Three full tanks of them, too. Yeah. The ultimate patio pond fish, for sure. Oh, yeah. You can see these from space. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for showing us. Yeah, happy to do it. All right. DanceFish.com. <laughs>